Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I want to wish you guys all the many blessings. Uh, may you guys find prosperity, success, growth, and advancement above all health. I genuinely hope that each and every single one of you guys uh, spent the holiday surrounded by people and loved ones, those that matter most to us. All right, so let's get into your reading, Virgos. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month of January 2018. Is it just me or does it feel so weird saying 2018? I kind of have to remind myself. I was um, pause for a bit and be like, <laughs> are we really in 2018? Yes, we are. Blessed be. All right, let's get into this reading, Virgos. Let's see what Spirit has for Virgos, Virgos, for the month of January 2018. Virgos, Virgos. Okay. First card is the Ten of Wands, Four of Swords, Eight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the Three of Pentacles. Oh, wow. All right, so I'm going to keep that. There is another card stuck to the Six of Pentacles. Um, so I'm just going to keep that. All right, the World card, the Ten of Cups, Four of Pentacles, and the Tower card. Wow, Virgos. All right, your general energies for the month of January 2018. You have the Ten of Pentacles as a general energy. This is how you're going into the month of January. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Okay. Ten of Pentacles uh, resonates a lot with family and the family dynamic, the household. Uh, you guys are, obviously, we're just, you know, coming off all the holidays and the holiday seasons. Um, a lot of uh, going back home or going to your loved ones or your motherland. Um, and, you know, Family is going to be very important for you guys for the month of January. I feel that for some of you guys, it could be uh, making a choice and a decision to walk away or to detach yourself from family members or people that are extremely toxic to you or to your life. Um, you do have two tens here, so there's definitely, and actually three tens, uh, so there's definitely endings here. And again, like I said, it's preparing you to go into this 2018 uh, being very mindful about the people that you allow to surround yourself with. Okay. Um, again, 10 of Pentacles is all about the household and the family dynamic, um, which is a very beautiful card. Blessings and abundance as well. Uh, stability starting to become more stable uh, in your finances. But again, like I said, you do have three tenths, so there's definitely endings. Um, in regards to either past toxic relationships or endings to being able to pull yourself away from people or family member the family members that can be um, very negative uh, they're not um, they're not giving you advice to the best of their in to the best of your interest and I think that some of you Virgos are already currently experiencing this um, you kind of starting to see uh, people's true colors um, but anyways, let's get into your reading. So you have the Ten of Wands here, and the Ten of Wands is feeling burden, uh, feeling like um, either you're putting, you're carrying a lot of responsibility, or family members are putting too much responsibility on you, whether it's your partner, whether it's your husband, your wife, or your children as well. You have the Four of Swords, so there's definitely an almost a time to reflect to really analyze what's going on, what ha has been happening in your life, something that keeps occurring. And it has a lot to do with, again, the people that you're surrounding yourself with. Uh, the Four of Swords definitely represents um, taking some time to meditate, to ground yourself. Or for some of you guys, it could be that you guys were dealing with health issues and you're finally starting to uh, heal yourself and rebalance your energies now you do have the six of pentacles here and the eight which were both two cards that were stuck to each other uh, the six of pentacles is a charity card and the eight of cups is the walking away from a relationship or walking away from um again like i said 
uh, feeling like you've been taken advantage of Virgos. Um, the Six of uh, Pentacles is a charity card. Like I said, it's a give and take. But a lot of the times it could represent um, timing. So it's time for you to walk away from what doesn't serve you anymore. Uh, whether it's people taking advantage of you, again, like I said, or people expecting too much from you. Even if, as an example, um, you live, you know, with your family, with your parents, um, it's almost like you're kind of being the parent or you're kind of being the, uh, you know, the mature one. And this is not really helping you because people, family members are expecting too much from you. And that's the reason why perhaps you started the year feeling overburdened. Um, but again, like I said, I do see walking away from this situation and being able to find yourself or again, ground yourself as we do have the page of pentacles. The page of pentacles can also represent receiving a message, a message of communication, uh, something that's been brewing, something that uh, perhaps has been you've been expecting uh, to get news or receive some type of information in regards to this person that you're no longer contacting or the person that you completely cut off. Nonetheless, you do go into the second week of January with the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is emotional fulfillment, but under the Ten of Swords, uh, I feel that this is being able to find yourself again and feel, um, feel more balanced due to the fact of the cutting of this toxic energy or people, uh, toxic um, people that you're allowing uh, to be in your life. Almost pay attention, Virgos, uh, for the month of January, those that are, um, that come off as giving advice, but it's very harsh advice. Uh, know and understand that we, sometimes we don't want to hear the truth. Sometimes, um, we don't like to be put in a position where, you know, they're telling us, it's almost like we don't want to hear it, but we know that it comes from a loving place. And then there is a difference between that and getting advice or instead of advice, it's almost like they're judging us. And I feel that you're, you know, understanding the difference now. And sometimes, unfortunately, it has to come to the point of for our own state of mind, for our own well-being, we have to detach ourselves from people that you know, don't have our best interest and are people that are expecting too much from us. Um, yeah, definitely. I feel that this has a lot to do with the family dy dynamics. It could be family members. It could be uh, mother figure, father figure, or it could be your brothers and sisters. Uh, but someone is definitely overburdening you, putting you too much. Uh, they have too much expectations from you. And again, like I said, there is a need to cut that, to end that. Um, and be able to move forward knowing that uh, those that are around you, even if it decreases your social circle or your inner circle, um, you're keeping around those that really matter and do have, in fact, the best of your interest. Now, you do have the Three of Pentacles here, and the Three of Pentacles is working as a group or trying to achieve something as a group. Again, for some of you or most of you, it's going to be having to do with the family dynamic, like I said, um, coming to terms if you're wanting to deal this is an example if you had a falling out with your father or with your mother and they reach out or they try to communicate with you uh to pretty much mend the fences um my suggestion is if they are wise enough or old enough you know if they are 50 years and over um it's very hard for them to reteach themselves to be a different type of way so know and understand that it's going to be necessary for you either to accept them for who and what they are and try to keep a distance um, so it doesn't affect you on a deeper level or completely having to detach yourself from that person, okay? Now, for some of you guys, this could have to do with relationships, uh, feeling overburdened, feeling like you're the one that's always trying to put the effort in the relationship. And this is a non-give and take type of relationship. So it's either you overdoing or it's your partner overdoing and you not really putting the effort or them not really putting the effort. Nonetheless, there is communication, honest communication coming through and having to make a choice in the second week of January. Um, and based on that choice, you're going to have to either come together 
uh, to achieve a goal if you're in a relationship trying to find the stability in the relationship and ending the cycle of not having communication or not communicating as you do have the world card here but it can also represent having to end the cycle of, of wanting to put up with people people's nonsense basically um, the ace of cups I feel that it's not in a loving energy but more so in a well-being so this is you in your second week going into or preparing yourself to go into the third week, ending whatever doesn't serve you anymore and being able to be okay with that decision. Now you do have the 10 of cups here and the four of pentacles. So for some of you guys, if you guys are married or have been in a long-term committed relationship, one of your, either you or your partner has been extremely guarded lately. And again, um, the feeling of being overburdened with responsibilities or not spending enough time with one another because of responsibilities nonetheless uh the third week of january i definitely do see um more balance in the relationship and a little bit more communication although someone is guarded and it could have to do with uh there is uncertainty or there is some type of doubt in regards to the relationship or if this person has stepped out of the relationship now you do have the tower here at the bottom and the tower is again it's all about um destruction of what we thought or a perception of what we thought perhaps some of you guys have currently uh found out that your partner did in fact step out of the relationship and it's devastating in the sense that you weren't expecting it uh for some of you guys it came out of nowhere nonetheless there is a need for you to really understand and not be, not be very um very harsh in in judging so what i mean by that is a lot of the times and i'm not saying please don't misinterpret this no one deserves to be cheated on um i've always said this in all my readings if you feel that you're getting to a point where you're missing something in the relationship or that relationship is not fulfilling you anymore uh, have the decency and the integrity to be honest with yourself and with your partner um and don't string them along, you know, be honest with one another. And if there's a need to end something, then walk away from that before you actually start something else. Nonetheless, in this situation, if in fact you did find out that there was a third party type of energy here, um, a lot of the times, sometimes it has to do with, again, like I said, I'm not saying anyone deserves to be cheated on. But it takes two people to make a relationship work, just like it takes two people to mess up a relationship. Uh, perhaps your partner was very loving and understanding, but perhaps needed more attention. Uh, perhaps you were so focused or concerned with your finances and with work that didn't really give you enough time. So it was really difficult for you to be able to balance the relationship and the business or on the business front. Um, nonetheless, the tower here, it's almost like there is a need to break um, whatever our perception is of what we think a relationship should be or what we thought that we were bringing into the relationship and almost having a reality check. Um, I do see the world card and the tower as endings here. Um, so again, for a lot of you guys, it could represent that you recently walked away from a relationship uh, that had to do with the third party type of energy. Now, if you've been committed or in a very long term committed relationship and the tower could be a representation of be feeling like there's uncertainty in regards to your household or uncertainty in regards to business and finances. For some of you guys that own your own business, it could have been that you were putting too much effort and time into your business and kind of lost track of the importance that it is to make sure that the same way we put efforts into business, we have to put effort into our family, into our home. Um, because I feel that there's almost like an emptiness of a home. So for some of you guys, it could be that you actually did lose. Um, you lost your house or you were kicked out. Um, it was something very sudden and very unexpected. Again, like I said, because I do have the Four of Pentacles here. And the Four of Pentacles can represent uh, having lack of abundance. So um, again, like I said, it doesn't necessarily imply... Uh, the loss of a home or something but you know the tower is there and i have to acknowledge that so again um i do see you guys cutting out a lot of people negative people that are in your life that you no longer need or that they're not serving you for a higher purpose um and again like i said i see a lot of detachments here from people that 
For some of you Virgos, it could have been that you were being taken advantage of. Uh, perhaps you found out that your partner was, you know, meddling with your money or double dealing with your money and you're getting to a point of having to make a choice and the decision can have to do with this tower. This tower is something sudden, something unexpected that will definitely affect the family dynamic. Uh, nonetheless, again, like I said, it's going to be able to bring you the ending of this struggle or the ending of uh, uncertainty, but also um, giving you more stability in regards to your well-being. Uh, I think for two, for January 2018, for Virgos, it's going to be very prominent and very strong, uh, making sure that you're taken care of, making sure that your well-being comes above everything else. Um, I know this can so sound a little bit selfish, but sometimes when we are the martyr, when we do too much for other people, for our kids, for our husband, for our wife, we forget to take care of ourselves. And I think that this reading is just a reminder that sometimes we have to be selfish. Uh, we can't help other people if we're not being able to help ourselves. So it, there's a necessity of balance in this reading, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Comment, like, and share if you haven't subscribed to my channel. Subscribe, and we will see each other in the middle of the month. Take care, Virgos. Bye-bye.